Hi, I'm Luann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I am here with Christian Kinnickson. And my goodness, we just had a flare of, uh, of traffic jam with all of your cars leaving. Yes, yes, it was really nice. We had uh, 10 customer cars here this year and uh, they stayed with us for the show. And with six of them, we drove up from LA to Monterey uh, two days ago. So it's re really like a, a family event of uh, Koenigsegg owners. Tell me a little bit about the history. Yeah, so I, I started Koenigsegg in 1994 when I was 22 years old. <laughs> And it was my childhood dream to build uh, my own sports car. And I'd, maybe I didn't think of building a sports car brand. I just wanted to build a sports car. But of course, if you, if you want to succeed in that, you have to build more than one, and you have to create a company and this and that. But at 22, you must have had some funding from somewhere. No, not really. Uh, I started my first company when I was 19. Yes. Uh, I had uh, some inventions and patents I wanted to take. And, and, and I yeah, wanted to make some money so I could build cars. Yes. So I started like a trading company, buying and selling plastic bags, uh, pens, frozen chicken, whatever I could find, a uh, product where I could buy for less and uh, sell for more, whatever it was pretty much, uh, to, to be able to finance something like this. But then when I was 22, for sure I didn't have enough money, but I had enough to get going. So on the 12th of August, 1994, I started and never stopped. You really are a software company. In, in many ways we are, yeah. So we, we uh, are the, probably the most vertical integrated car company in the world regardless of size as we even develop and produce all our own software all our own uh, circuit boards for the software and we, we assemble the controllers and from from uh, low level firmware upwards for the engine control for the hybrid control for infotainment and things like this we do that all in-house so most people think okay well Bosch is, is the guy that actually uh, or the company that actually does the back end of a lot of the cars. Right. But you don't even use anyone else. You use your own. In fact, you don't even use Linux. Exactly. We actually use Linux in our infotainment system, but otherwise not. Right. Otherwise, we write our code straight up from, from uh, C. Wow. So. so, you now have the Regard, which is a hybrid. Yes. And the one thing that you do borrow from someone else or purchase from someone else is the battery, which is from Remac. Correct, correct. And that, why would you do that instead of continuing this tradition? Well, yeah, so the, the, the story behind that collaboration is that um, Re, uh, Marty Remac, who's behind Remac, he started his company when he was 22, eight, uh, six, seven years ago. Something about this year, 22. Yeah, exactly, it's kind of <laughs> weird. And, and apparently he's told me sometimes he looked up to what I was doing and he gave him hope and, and faith that he could succeed since I was doing what I was doing. And I started mentoring him a little bit. Wonderful. And then uh, I had this idea of the direct drive system and I started talking to him as he was developing electric cars, if he, what he thought on the battery side. So uh, yeah, together we started sketching it and, and they are, they are producing it and developing it together with us, but they're going to build the packs for us. But it's kind of a joint collaboration to make it seamlessly suit with the car. So we have kind of a written software strategies together and, and, and made a seamless integration. Christian, thank you. Great, my pleasure. Right. Nice meeting you.